Hey, it's Jen from New Art Radio. We're here with Phil LeCount from the KW Comedy Festival. We're going to be chatting with him tonight and uh, give you all the goods. Yes. It's so exciting. <laughs> yes. The sixth annual Kitchener Waterloo Comedy Festival. We have 20 comics. We are running 15 shows over three days at six venues, which is the biggest fest that we've tried Insane. to do. Insane. Yes, I know. No. <laughs> Um, yes, we, so we're doing our gala at the Center in the Square again, our mm -hmm. opening night, and we have uh, Sean Majumner from uh, This Hour Has 22 Minutes, and uh, Majumner Manor, and he's, you know, one of my all-time favorite comics. Mm -hmm. I actually had a chance to work with him um, many years ago in Halifax, um, as a part of the Halifax Busker Festival, before the Halifax Comedy Festival started, and he was one of their comics, and he hung out with us, and super nice guy, and... Um, you know, he's just very Canadian and very, you know, hilarious and yeah. we're very lucky to have him. And then we have, um, oh, I can't even like rhyme off all the comics, but uh, Mark Forward is coming, who's one of my all-time favorite comics from the Mr. D show and he's been at Just For Last many times and um, he's done his own shows and he's just great. Yeah. And uh, Nathan McIntosh, um, who won Best Canadian Comic of the Year at the Canadian Comedy Awards in 2002, I think. He came to the very first year, and he's been living in New York for the last few years, and he's coming back. And who else do we have? Um, Mary Mack and Tim Harmston, both from uh, Minnesota. And they've been on, like, Conan and Letterman and um, Last Comic Standing, and they're both, you know, two of my favorite comics. It, well, I mean, you've got a list like it crazy is massive. here. Like, it's I'm 20, just it's 20 out. comics, yeah. yeah. Big um, name. Yeah, like um, yeah. Kay Trevor Wilson and who else do we Jen have? Jen Grant. Jen Grant, who's also amazing. She's been here before. Mm -hmm. And um, Kyle. Kyle Radke. Yep. Kyle Radke is coming. And <laughs> Dave Merej. And I mean, like, all of these guys have been on Canadian television and been to Just for Laughs and have won Canadian Comedy Awards. And I mean... Uh -huh. We try to do our best to get quality comedians, like get the best comedy that we can get, um, you know, to come for three days and just, you know, blow the pants off of everyone. Variety show, and they're like, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you interact with an audience or, you know, bring somebody up on stage and make that all happen. Right. And then variety performers are like, I don't know how you just go up there with nothing, you know, and tell jokes and make people laugh. So it's strange how both professions even though they're very similar because they're you know both entertaining and they're both comedic in nature I mean but they're very different and the performers are also very different mm -hmm. most variety performers are very outgoing and very you know social and you know and I've met a lot of comics and I mean their stage persona is is what it is it's a stage persona they're very different off stage everyone has their own story but a lot of them stem from you know, they were kind of weird or awkward people and they kind of see the world in maybe a quirky way or a different way or, you know, and mm -hmm. they can, you know, allow everyone to see humor in the way that they see the world. Right. So, yeah. Um, when you're looking for material or acts for the festival, do you ever think, like, this material's too risky or am I pushing this too far? Do you feel that comedy has like carte blanche when it comes to touchy subjects? Um, I think, okay, first of all, the answer, the first part of that question, no, I don't, we don't censor any of our comics. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, I try to offer something for everyone. So I would never hire 20 comics that are very blue or X rated never do that right. but even this year we're doing a theme show where we're doing a nasty show oh, so okay. we have two theme shows one of them is the xx show which is three female comics and then we're doing the triple x show which is the nasty show so that <laughs> show that location? um it's at the jazz <laughs> room got her a yeah. Date book yeah i'm uh, writing this down yeah, right now yeah. the nasty so, show Hi. yes so that show i mean the comics will go out of their way to mm -hmm. do filthy material and some people really like that some people don't really like that mm -hmm. so I try to have a nice wide variety a nice range for everyone you know it's also sort of having a mix of some people really like ethnic comedy and some people really like 
you know, gay comedy or mm -hmm. whatever. And I try to, because we can have 20 comics, we can have sort of the gamut. But we, I always get asked by the comics sort of, you know, what's the show like, you know, what, and I said, look, we put on all of our marketing and all of our advertising, we don't censor any of your material. You're a professional, read the com like read the crowd. Right. Because if you walk out onto a stage and, you know, it's a bunch of senior citizens, well, if you're doing jokes about, you know, Drake or whoever, right. <laughs> it's not going to work. You're going to, your target audience, you got to know yeah, your audience. know your audience. And I think that comes from just experience and being a professional as well, mm -hmm. you know. Are all your uh, events 18 plus or 19 plus? Uh, no, we do one family show. Mm -hmm. So we do a variety show in the afternoon at the Registry Theater on the Saturday afternoon. And we have... Um, He'll be the skinny German juggle boy, who is one of the funniest human beings on the planet. And he rides a unicycle and he's a juggler and obviously. And we have uh, John Park, who does a character called the funny waiter and he does a spinning plate routine. And uh, we have Dan, the one man band, which is just what it sounds like. Yeah. And it's a full on family show. And, but all the other shows are geared for 19 plus. Cause most of them take place in bars. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> like I said, I don't believe in censoring anything to yeah. be honest mm -hmm. you know especially right. when it comes to art yes. yeah yeah yes. well then there's that age-old question right do we censor art right right and I, yeah. I don't think you can I mean I don't think you can sense I think that certain art has a time and a place but I don't think it needs to be censored like not all art needs to be shown to preschoolers mm -hmm. you know but you know there's a time and a place for everything and I think that's the that's the key so we should mention right now that Phil has been very generous and he's offered all of our uh, CKWR New Art Radio listeners a yeah. discount yes. for the show, for any Friday or Saturday show. Yes. All you got to do is go to website. KW-comedy.com. Right. Or KitchenerComedy.com. Yes. Or WaterlooComedy.com. We're covering our bases. Oh, yes. Yeah, you can get so them anywhere. Yeah. And then there's a big button that says buy show tickets. And, and uh, you just go there and you enter in the promo code New Art Radio, all one word. And then Our you just letters. pick your show. Yes, I think you actually pick the show first, and then oh, there'll, be a, there'll be a promo code box. Okay, so and there you go. If you type go. in New Art Radio, 15% mm -hmm. off for everyone. Merry Christmas. There you go. Merry yes. Christmas. Yeah. Yes. What a great Christmas gift. Christmas came early.